Lesson 3. Applications of the Bitwise Operators Decision Making In programming, very often we need to make decision. For example we can program a robot to recognize the traffic light and understand the traffic light rules. We can check the light's status one by one using the if-else chain. If green light is on, then proceed with caution. Otherwise, if amber light is on, prepare to stop. Otherwise, if red light is on, stop. In the if-else chain, we need to evaluate a series of conditions, such as green light double equals string on. Only when a condition is evaluated to be true or one, the action will be taken. If the condition is evaluated to be false or zero, the action will not be carried out. The condition compares the value against a string variable. A string is a series of characters, each character consumes one byte of memory. To reduce the use of memories, we can use a boolean variable. A boolean variable can only have two possible values, true or one, and false or zero. Each boolean variable consumes one byte of memory. When a boolean variable is true, action can be taken, otherwise, action will be skipped. E.G if green is 1, proceed with caution, otherwise, amber is 1, prepare to stop. Otherwise if red is 1, stop. Another example on decision making using the boolean variable. There are four boolean variables. A, B, C and D A equals 1 means we have an apple, and A equals 0 means we do not have an apple. B equals 1 means we have a banana, and B equals 0 means we do not have a banana. C equals 1 means we have a cucumber, and C equals 0 means we do not have a cucumber. D equals 1 means we have a durian, and D equals 0 means we do not have a durian. The program segment initializes the four variables. A equals 0, B equals 1, C equals 0 and D equals 1. The FL statements check the value of each boolean variable and display the appropriate messages. However, we have used four variables. Each boolean variable consumes one byte of memory. Even though it only has two possible values, true and false, which can be represented by a single bit, it takes up an entire byte of memory. This is because variables need unique addresses, and memory can only be addressed in bytes. The boolean uses one bit and the other seven go to waste. What else can we do to reduce the use of memories and speed up the process? bit flags. Instead of using multiple boolean variables, we can combine the variables into a single byte sized char variable. A char variable contains 8 bits. Each bit is meant for one boolean variable. When a bit is set, it has a value of 1. When a bit is cleared, it has a value of 0. These bits are usually referred as bit flags. The four boolean variables A, B, C and D used in the previous example can be combined into a sequence of four bits in the order of A, B, C and B. The bit pattern 0101 represents A equals 0, B equals 1, C equals 0, D equals 1. The bit pattern is assigned to a char variable flags. As char is 8 bit long, the left four bits will be filled with 0, the statement char flags equals 0x05 declares and initializes a char variable with a binary value 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, Instead of consuming 4 bytes of memories for 4 boolean variables, we are using only 1 byte of memory. However, how do we know whether a particular bit is set or cleared?
the bitwise logical operators and bit masks are often used to create, manipulate, and read sequences of bit flags. A bit mask is a bit pattern with some bits that are set, and other bits are cleared. There are eight fundamental masks. A fundamental mask has only one bit that is set. When the bit zero is set, it is known as mask zero. When the bit one is set, it is known as mask one. And so on and so forth. We can now use bit mask and bit operator to test whether a bit is set or not. For example, do we have a durian? Recall that the chub variable flags equals 0x05. Bit 0 is meant for durian and it is set. The value is 1. We can bitwise in the flags with the bit mask 0 whose bit 0 is 1 and all other bits are 0. At bit 0 position, 1 and 1 equals 1. From bit 1 to bit 7, 0 and 0, or, 0 and 1, the results are always 0. Hence the result of flags bitwise and mask 0 is 0x01. Zero zero From this example, we can see that when bit 0 is set, the result of flags bitwise and the mask 0 is same as the mask 0. However, if we don't have a durian, bit 0 is cleared. The value at bit 0 is 0, and the flags equals 0x04. Zero zero when we bitwise in the flags with a bit mask 0, 0 and 1 equals 0. Hence the result of flags bitwise and mask 0 is 0x00, zero zero zero, which is different from the mask 0. From this example, we can see that when bit 0 is cleared, the result of the flags bitwise and the mask 0 is not same as the mask 0. Conclusion to test whether a bit at position n is set or not, we can bitwise end the bit flags with mask n. If the result is same as mask n, the bit is set. Otherwise the bit is cleared. The program on the left uses four boolean variables to check the status of apple, banana, cucumber and durian. The program on the right uses a char variable flags to store the status of apple, banana, cucumber and durian in the bit pattern. It then bitwise end the flags with bit masks to check whether a particular bit is set or not. Apple's status is stored at bit 3 position, so it will bitwise end with mask 3. Banana is at bit 2, so bitwise with mask 2. Cucumber is at bit 1 and Durain is at bit 0. When the result of flags bitwise and the mask is same as the mask, the bit is set. Note by default Visual Studio does not recognize the bit pattern of the masks. Hence we use the define directive to define each mask. Originally we do not have an apple as bit 3 is 0. Now we are given an apple, and we need to change the bit 3 to 1. We can bitwise all the flags with the mask 3, whose bit 3 is 1, and all other bits are zeros. 1 or 0 equals 1. 0 or 1 equals 1. 0 or 0 equals 0. Hence the result of bitwise all operation is that, bit 3 is set to 1, and all other bits remain unchanged. We have an apple now by setting the bit 3 of the flags. Conclusion, to set a bit at position n, bitwise all the flags with mask n. To clear a bit at a particular position within the bit pattern of bit flags, 
the bitwise end and bitwise nut operators are used. Suppose we have eaten the banana and we need to clear the bit too. We can firstly bitwise nut mask too. The resulting bit pattern has a zero at bit two and one at all other bits. We can then bitwise end the flags with the resulting bit pattern. Zero and one equals zero. One and one equals one. One and zero equals zero. Hence the result of the bitwise end operation is that bit two is cleared and all other bits remain unchanged. Conclusion to clear a bit at position n, bitwise n with not mask n. Toggle a bit means change bit from 0 to 1, or 1 to 0. Suppose we want to toggle the bit 0. Originally bit 0 is a value 1, indicating that we have a durian. To toggle bit 0, we can change the value to 0. All other bits shall remain unchanged. To do so, we can bitwise x or the mask 0. 1x or 1 equals 0. 0x zero or 0 equals 0, 0x zero or 1 equals 1. The result of the bitwise XOR operation is that, bit 0 is toggled, and other bits remain unchanged. Conclusion, to toggle a bit at position N, bitwise XOR the flags with mask N. Sometimes, we need to interchange two bits in a bit pattern. Assume, B is a char whose value is, 1111, 0101, or 0xf5. If we are to interchange bit 3 and bit 4, and clear the rest of the bits, what will be the result? Firstly, we will retrieve bit 4, and clear all other bits. We can bitwise end the bit pattern with mast 4. Secondly we will write shift 1 position to bit 3 position. Next, we will retrieve bit 3 from the original bit pattern by bitwise end the bit pattern with mask 3. And we will write shift 1 position to bit 4 position. Finally we can bitwise all the two bit patterns. The resulting bit pattern is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 which is 0x08. Encryption is the process of transforming text, using an algorithm, to make it unreadable. By interchanging bits of an ASCII character's binary representation, the character can be transformed to another character. Assume IET is the initial encrypted text, whose value is character x, or 0x78, or 0111, 100, 0. We can interchange bit 0 with bit 7, bit 1 with a bit 6, bit 2 with bit 3 and bit 4 with bit 5. What is the final encrypted text, or in short form FET? There are two steps involved in the encryption processing. Firstly for each bit in the IET bit pattern, create another bit pattern to retrieve the bit, and shift to the new position. To retrieve a bit at position N, bitwise and mask N. Once all the eight bit patterns are created, we can combine all the bits using bitwise OR operators. For example, to retrieve bit 0 and shift to bit 7, we can create a char variable B7. Bitwise end, IET with mask 0, left shift 7 positions, and store the result at char variable B7. Next we can retrieve bit 1 and shift to bit 6, and so on and so forth. The final encrypted text can be found by combining all the bit patterns using the bitwiser operation.
The output of the program shows that the character X is encrypted to a number 6. You have come to the end of lesson 3. Complete the activity 3 before you start to work on the problem-based learning assignment.